What is up, guys? We are back, and um, I know it's kind of late, but I wanted to get this video out or make this video talking about a discussion of which version of the game of Spark and Zero should you guys pre order, or which one is going to be really beneficial to you guys, and what's going to be really be the bang for your buck when you're getting this game for a cop. Uh, but also, I wanted to go over the trailer again because I've feel like you know when i did the trailer for the like when i reacted to the trailer for the first time it was just like spontaneous since i came home sat down went on live about it just happened like so fast and then we just got a release date so i wanted to come make a video addressing like what's in the trailer who's in the trailer or the characters that we didn't get to see or like other things that we might have not caught with our eye but we're just gonna like run through back on the video or not well specifically the announcement trailer for the release of the game but we already know this game's coming out october the 11th of uh 2024 so this year is going to be really insane but enough talking if you're also, also if you guys are new to the channel leave a like don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel share this video and enough talking let's get straight into the video and let's just get straight into it no, no, enough that but i'm really also excited for this game as well because a lot of us been ooh, a lot of us been waiting for this game to come out before we start i just want to you know up this to the max oh bro that's the and they got the fight of broly and gogeta oh man like this shot is so clean guys like it looks super dope and it looks super nice and i'm excited to literally play but also you can also pre-order the two of these to well they are they're already going to be in the game but they're going to be for early access so you'll be able to play as them early access for i guess i forgot but i'm i'm hope i'm thinking it's probably most likely the deluxe and the ultimate edition and then with the ultimate edition you'll get to be having you'll get to play as a new playable character something else that they haven't really specified what it is but i hope they can really talk about it but let's keep going. Well, Cell versus Goku. Goku Black, which is what I've noticed uh, when I did my reaction and I peeped that Goku Black was in it. It's awesome. 17 and Piccolo, which we know. And then we have Great A Vegeta. We know Majin Buu. And then should be fighting and fight as legends. Okay, so Goku versus v Goku versus Frieza, obviously. Um, so that's that's nice. And Majin Vegeta versus Fat Boo. That's just the original story. So they're they're still going over the original story of the game. Piccolo, you know, special beam cannon, and then Goku sacrificing himself to teleport Cell away to King Kai's planet. So just the the norm of what the game was or how the normal story of Dragon Ball is. But what really caught my eye is to reclaim new possibilities. So we'll see. And this is this is really it. oh my bad. Oops, I clicked I actually clicked the button. Oops, that's on me. Yes, so it literally says you can either go alone or you can take Piccolo. So there's basically what if scenarios of like what if Goku didn't go with or Piccolo didn't go with Goku to face off against Raditz. So there's gonna be multiple possibilities of different outcomes of the battle of what happened and i'm excited to see that for this game this year in this game this is what's really different about this game because what really stands out about budokai series games like rage and blast budokai 3 is they have a bunch of what if series which made this game very different from other dragon ball games and then it's just different endless possibilities of what happened when certain characters are being put in a situation which is really cool and this is a nice little feature or a touch-up feature that they added to this game and that's nice i mean it's a weird, weird it's a weird png of rats just sitting here smiling but yeah it's really cool or you can just work with piccolo but but when you pick go alone krillin i think krillin goes with them but instead of that it just cuts into like goku stopping vegeta from stopping on krillin and then Goku sees Krillin gets hurt. Then he just literally transforms into a Super Saiyan, which is freaking dope. And then, um, 
Yeah, I'm trying to cut to the part where, um, Virginia, I know you can see Virginia's face. Like, Virginia's like, oh my fucking god, what is that? Oh my god! And then he's just like, he's about to shit himself. But let's keep going. But this is cool, though. But what, what really what caught my eye is double final flash from Trunks and Vegeta. That's clean. And then you were getting into UI Goku. But I wish they would have showed us a bit of gameplay. And then I didn't really peep Golden Frieza. But we have Zamasu in there. And then we have Gohan. And then Bardock, if you didn't see, Bardock was literally right there. Bardock was literally right there. These are a lot of good thumbnails I can use. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, 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 kill him. Look at look at my look at boy. Look, look at my homie Gohan. He just stayed here powering up. And then my homie Bardock. And then we got Nappa. Nobody really cares. And then the the the, the danger the trio of danger. The trio of danger. Right there. And then go tanks. Go Jita. Okay. And then Broly going full power, then you know the same characters that were in the basic trailer, and then Jiren full power with UI Goku. Yeah, that's something new. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's that's pretty good though. Like, I mean, we pretty much caught everything about what was going on in the game. So, I mean, we didn't really miss anything. So we really caught everything, especially from um, when we made that first video of the reaction of what was going on. But we're also gonna get into like what's gonna be the best version for you guys, especially like you know to like to enjoy i mean some people want to play the game three days early maybe four days early and then some other don't mind waiting it just really depends on all you but we're gonna go on like we're gonna go and discuss about many various different things or what's coming for the games on like the different packs not the different packs but the different editions of the game so we'll be able to talk about it see what's gonna be coming basically and then you get a pre-order bonus with the you know the six of those different well the six of the well not, not six different characters but two two of the characters you get to play them early but they're count as six so i'm assuming that they're going to be different variations of the character instead of tra them transforming but that's very unlikely but yeah but i digress but let's get into it let's talk about the um the additions so the standard edition of the game you just get the base game which is whatever um then if you get the deluxe edition you get the base game you get all three dlcs and then season pass bonus to summon shenron and then you get early access to play three days early and then you get the 20 playable characters for the dlc which is going to be sick that means it says dragon ball daima and then superhero that means beast gohan is going to be a dlc character um yeah so beast gohan is not going to be playable which is sad but hey it's gonna be quick for them to get money i guess or it's, it's a money maker obviously so and then we also have this season pass well not the season pass but the ultimate edition we're gonna go over it what it is i'm tripping and i'm super tired don't mind me guys i do apologize uh we have the base game we have the ultimate upgrade pack with goku super costume with power pole that's really cool okay that's cool and then we have the emo emote voice set two player car backgrounds one customization uh item ultimate edition bonus summon super shenron which is cool uh that's cool that's really cool and it's uh, season pass bonus summon Shinron. So you get shit. So you get two Shinrons. That's pretty cool. And then you get to play it three days early. Okay. So the premium edition. So there's three editions. Technically three. But if you want to be, you know, very technical about it, it's four. But you get the base game, the ultimate edition upgrade pack voucher. Okay. That's cool. I'm going to need that. And then you get the... Um, the, the the electric card or what what I, i'm bad at pronouncing don't mind me a little bit of dyslexic um we have the dragon ball sparking zero exclusive diorama okay and then we have the exclusive cards in the steel book and in the metallic bookmarks um i don't know honestly um but this this figure looks pretty cool if you're down to like spend like the extra um well if it tells me the prices um Let's just go find the prices actually. See how much they cost. Let's just say we play on PS5 and then Bandai Nankum Store. Um, yeah. 
uh, let's just, yeah, yeah this is 229, uh, damn, oh my god, that's a lot of money, if your guys are willing to spend 235 bucks for that, hey man, salute to y'all, really, salute to y'all boys, man, um, let's just go find Sparking Zero, okay, uh, yeah, okay, but these are all on Steam. Which is weird. Yeah, okay. Here we go. So, we're going to go over the multiple different packs that we're going to get. So, this is going to be the Ultimate Edition. And we're going to have to make separate different pages. Uh, let's see. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Oops. Okay, let's go back. Man. Um, and we said we already had the Ultimate. So, we already went over how much this was. This is $235, guys. Plus, I guess, you know, if you want the figure or collectibles. Um, then we just need this. Okay, and then PlayStation 5, you know, go to the PSN store. Oh, wait, the PSN store. Okay. Well, basically, okay, we have everything over here. So, it, it literally just tells us. So, in the PlayStation store, it tells us that for the deluxe edition, it's about 100 pounds. Not 100 pounds, but it's $100. So basically, you're paying probably like 104, 105, and then you know for the ultimate edition, you're paying about at least like 114, maybe 113, and in taxes. So it really just depends like what what do you what are you gonna get from it? Like um, deal if you're just wanting the DLCs, the early access, and maybe the exclusive characters with the six unlock early characters. My best bet would to be go with um, the deluxe edition, but if you really want the Super Shenron, we don't even know what we're, what Super Shenron is gonna like really have in it, but we get it, like you get to summon a bunch of things, like, you know, anything, probably anything into the game. But as a guy, as me, as you know, a big Dragon Ball fan, everything, yes, we, we like, we, we wanna pre-order big money, everything, you know, we, we stack up on bread, you know, in, in Dragon Ball games, like Dragon Ball, like Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, you know, uh, I mean, I purchased the Ultimate Edition of the game um, to, to stock up on food and stuff, and especially it just helped me level up like a bunch of characters like Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Trunks, etc. But you know, so and foremost, like those, it just that's what it really helped me with. Um, but I'm just saying, like you know, they really haven't got down to what Super Shenron does really, um, and then like the Ultimate Upgrade Pack, we don't know what that is. Um, but if you're just a guy or a girl or whatever you guys are, you know, whatever the gender, um, that is just only looking for like the three days early access and the characters and um, this well six like early access characters like Gogeta and Broly, um, and then you get the season pass. My my best bet for you guys would be to get this edition. But if you guys don't mind waiting and you're really patient and you just don't mind to spend a little less on the cheaper side then I would just get, you know, the $70 edition of the game. So you're not really losing in any way, but if you really wanted to go all out to get um, the collector's edition of the game, which you get the Dragon Ball card game exclusive, you get three playable cards, um, and then you get the, the, like, the collector's figure edition of this uh, figure of Goku and Broly, which is cool really cool looking but it's gonna be 230 uh, it's gonna be like at least 232 dollars 232 maybe 234 so yeah that's how much you're gonna be really spending in the game and then it says that you know what comes with this is the premiers collector's edition includes the game itself base disc um exclusive diorama which is the figure and then the exclusive cards, three playable cards, plus one energy marker, which they're talking about the card game. And then this, like the steel book, the metallic bookmark, and then you get the collectors, um, like let 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 it collectors or a card or ultimate edition upgrade pack vouchers. That's that's I guess that's the worst, that's the word. If I'm right. I probably am wrong. Uh, then you get season pass, three packs including Dragon Ball Super Superhero and Dragon Ball Daima content that contains more than 20 playable characters, which is cool. Then you get season pass bonus, then summon Shenron and three days early access to the three DLCs that are going to be coming out. Then the three days early access to the game, then ultimate edition bonus will summon Super Shenron, okay, or you get, oh yeah, this is uh, summon Shenron. 
but Super Shenron and then Ultimate Pack, including the following in-game item in-game items. Uh, then you get Goku Super costume with his power pole. Then you get emote voice and then emote voice set. Then two player cards background. And then you get another one customizable item that increases the character's fighting ability, which is cool. Uh, and then, you know, this just like added bonus content for the game. You just get Gogeta, Gogeta Super Saiyan, Gogeta Super Saiyan, God Super Saiyan. Well, this dish just, just follow blue. And then Broly, his Super Saiyan, and then full power. Um, yeah, so that's really about it but it just really comes down to like which edition of the game you guys really want um i gotta make sure if it's still yep it's still here so we're still good but yeah it's just really uh up to you guys me personally i'm leaning towards the deluxe or the ultimate but if so i mean like this looks this looks clean but i feel like this should have been the ultimate edition cover instead of this one but me i think i'm just gonna go with the ultimate edition just because i'm probably gonna need a lot of stuff and i'm going to be playing the hell out of this game when it drops i'm going to be putting a ton of hours i can't wait until like you know i'm almost done with my setup for my desk guys oh man it's going to be really crazy it's going to be really good times uh but yeah but those are the really main two things well not main two but main four things about the editions are technically yeah it is four so four editions but yeah let me know what you guys think and let me know how excited you guys are when this game is going to drop let me know which editions are you going to purchase um which one are you going to be going for and the reason why you went with that and you know so much other things that you guys can tell me about in the comment section down below but um i'm really happy this is the time for us dragon ball fans to literally just experience greatness especially we're living at a great time like this to witness sparking zero come back like whoever thought that budokai was ever going to come back um after so many years but yes but i have done enough yapping i just wanted to come here and make a video talk about this and then also discuss about you know what could we be you know or you know seeing in the next like you know maybe in a few four months after the game comes out and maybe some other time or we can make a speculation video of what dlcs that are going to be coming out for this game but it's pretty um i'm pretty sure it's pretty evident that's going to be um just super superhero or superhero and then just dragon ball daima and maybe some i hope some gt dlcs or something because i don't think they haven't discussed anything about gt but i hope it's in the game but if not i just hope it's going to be part of dlc since there's going to be 20 playable characters uh but yeah but that's really all about that's really all i have to say about this game i'm excited i'm going to pre-order it when i come back from vacation with my girlfriend i'm really excited um but yeah just so many good things so many good things but i hope you guys are just as excited well we know you're excited but like i said let me know down in the comment section down below um what are you going to be purchasing and you know like i said the reason why and then you know and just what's your goal for in the next four months until this game comes out so yeah so i've done enough talking and it's time to close up this video i love you guys stay safe and it's your boy you know keep doing good things don't definitely don't get in trouble but i will be dropping more content for dokkan as well i'm just dropping a lot of gaming content because i'm i'm a gamer so yeah so it's your boy i'll see you guys later like the video subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and hey if you guys can that'd be really appreciated but if not it's okay i'm just glad that you guys stopped by to the channel just to watch it and we're just here to have fun but yeah like i said i did a lot of yapping but it's your boy I i'm out for real this time i'm out for real i'll see you guys later have a wonderful night take care see you